A very simple way to summarise envelope would be how long does it take for a sound to get to its loudest? How long does it stay loud for? And then how long does it take for that signal to go to nothing? So an envelope shaper allows us to change things like the attack. So how fast does it take for this signal to get loud? And then things like the decay and release. So how long does it stay loud for? And the release is how long does it take for the envelope or the signal to fade out into nothing? The advantage of a multi-band envelope shaper is that we can change the envelopes over a number of different bands. In this case, the multi-band envelope shaper in Cubase gives us four different band options. With a multi-band envelope shaper, we can change where these bands sit in the frequency spectrum by picking up in between the bands up here in the user interface. We can change the volume of each individual band, and we can also change the overall volume using this knob right here. And that helps us to make sure that we're not actually adding any volume to the overall sound. We can solo the frequencies housed within one of these bands by hitting the solo button. And now just have a listen to what happens as I change the attack length and release. Dropping the attack gives more of a mushy, distant type of sound. And raising it back up again will give me more of a present sound because it's got a faster transient on the start of each section of this loop. Whilst it's great to be able to solo individual bands and listen to what's going on inside, it's also great to be able to listen to everything in context. And the thing about an envelope shaper over a loop is there's so much different content or ideas or things going on inside the loop. For example, here we've got hi-hats, which become more prevalent with a shorter release, and also reverb, which becomes more prevalent if we extend the release. Now once again, we can change the output and the sensitivity is basically how Cubase or the plugin is detecting these transients. So there's a lot of different information going on that we can bring out depending on the settings of the actual envelope over each one of these bands. And of course, if we don't want to work with all of the bands or all four bands, we can just simply go up and deactivate any of the bands in the multi-band envelope shaper. A multi-band envelope shaper is useful over a number of different music production applications, but it is especially cool to use over the top of drums and drum loops. Don't be afraid to give it a go and throw it over the top of a drum loop just so you become familiar with it. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. If you've liked it, please give us the thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll see you there.